Welcome back everyone to episode 18 of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Germany. Things are going well for us. I think we've won, uh, well we've won almost all of our battles and we've won all of our wars. Japan gave us quite a bit of a fight there considering their low budget. It's a little surprising but torpedoes, torpedoes, right? Anyway, we're going to push on. Oh good, we will mine lane submarine. I don't even want this one really but we'll just buy it because it's you know, technology and I always buy technology. Superimposed gun mounts on destroyers, not super important. In fact, if we want, what we've done at this point is probably gotten all the light forces and torpedo technology. Actually, can I see the details? We've gotten 1,100 and triple torpedo mounts. These are all the things I really want. These, these two things, these two items on the list are about all that I want, especially with the above water tubes on the light cruisers. So I'm going to switch this from medium research down to low now. Because destroyers with triple torpedo tube bounce, um, that's at 1,100 tons, is already devastating. So we'll focus a little bit more on other things. Where else do we want? Probably we'll only go to medium with torpedo technology. Actually, no. Torpedoes are so good that let's just let's keep letting those run as quickly as possible. We can see even though we've had medium priority on machinery, we've gotten 12 levels. And we have high priority on armor. It's where we get a research advantage from being Germany. And we only created, we only researched nine levels here, but that's okay. More people finishing the workup. We are getting a, an increased budget over time. We're eventually gonna wanna deal with that in one way, right? Um, no comments. I haven't really seen anything about whether I should scrap the old battleships or not. So we'll probably just, uh, leave them until the next war, like I was saying I would probably do. <clears throat> and again, the same thing about the Gethion, I think that we'll just leave them for at least one more war, because they are nice long-range uh, cruisers, and again, my new Hamburg class is only medium range, so, although the Hamburg class will probably be, probably need to be upgraded very soon, just because she doesn't have uh, torpedo mounts above uh, like on, on the top of the deck. She only has the submerged torpedo mounts. Alright, the Balkans giving us some um, interesting options as always. Budget, prestige, a lot of tension. Budget, prestige minus, but tension. Hmm. Let's do this one. My prestige is high enough that we can afford a one, one docking. We do like the budget, and uh, we don't want too much tension because we want to force it to be against Italy if we at all can. Although, what was it? it was Russians who had four dreadnoughts? Let's see. Yeah, their dreadnoughts are averaging about 25,000 per as well. We could actually go and see their actual ships. Let's find out what they have here. So these are kind of a new... Ooh, I would be pretty happy to go against that. That doesn't look too intimidating. What about this? That's... I mean, that's more of a ship. <laughs> Very strange configuration. What do they have, like two conning towers? Or I don't know what's going on here with the superstructure, but 12, 13 inch guns. Yeah, we've seen better. So we'll just kind of speed through this. I'll try to look for any of the messages that are important, but otherwise, ah, Russia, huh? I think we'll do this. Again, pre uh, prestige not hugely important. It doesn't bring us to war. Wow, British have 17-inch guns. Gracious. Goodness gracious. We'll denounce France. Better torpedo technology. Wow. Um, well, not that it's going to help. Our torpedoes don't seem to be able to hit. They have a hard time hitting the water from the top of their ships with their torpedoes is the way I see it. Um, it's difficult for them to even drop the torpedoes into the water. So we'll, uh, <laughs> the enhanced technology is not really going to help us too much actually hitting. Alright, we're up to 39,000 dock size, so we have a fantastic new battleship coming as soon as I get all or nothing armor. I think we'll take the free prestige in this hand. Oh wait, no, this is, uh, we don't want technology ended up in enemy hands. Okay, delays. Lots of money though. We have way too much money. What do we want more of? We have one more battle cruiser coming and two more light cruisers, the Hamburg. Let's see, we have these destroyers, which they're not bad. They're really, they're halfway decent destroyers, but 
we could really it wouldn't cost us much to just design a new one so let's get a new destroyer because when were those built 1912 yeah it's been six years it's probably about time for a new destroyer design we'll let the game auto design something for us see what gives us not something i'm happy with no this not gonna happen we'll delete the superimposed and 33 is decent hmm what tonnage are we at? Ugh. we can't get another 54 can we? unless we go to size I think that's just enough for us to get one more triple mount and that would make me very very happy let's go to R, I think the R triple mount should be good how's that look? no those are, little, those are stacked a little too close at what? or five over? okay but I'm not sure I did this let's clear the mounts 182 P R W. Yeah, five over still. Hmm. Uh, it's hard to. Can we get? No, ammo is only <laughs> four total. Huh. We're gonna have to make some kind of. Oh, yeah, let's go to fast. Speed. Wow, it's plenty. Let's go to coal. Perfect. Let's go to four inches. Fantastic. And increase our ammo a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom. We have a new destroyer design. So the S13. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything silly here. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. So let's get a few more of these. Um, maybe eight, seven, eight, nine, sure. Okay, good. It didn't really put much of a dent in our budget even, which is fantastic. Okay, so what do we have to do next? Um, hmm. Next turn, let's just keep waiting for all or nothing armor. I think that's the main thing we want. Uh, da, 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 da. We don't really care about going to war with France. We don't want to, but. Concentration fire. Reduce the penalty for more than one ship firing at the same target. That is awesome. Very, very helpful. Especially because we're playing on a large fleet size. Obviously, that's one that doesn't help you so much if you're on small or medium. Oh, improved director firing and more hull saving. Uh, okay, probably it's just time for us to retrofit some of our ships again. Like, when did these guys come out? 1908? They're, they're really due. Let's, let's retrofit these guys. They're not bad. I mean, they've performed very well. Oh, let's give you improved director firing. Jump directly up. Director firing for your secondary guns. Uh, increased elevation. Ah, I didn't get the 13 inch turrets. That's what I, uh, 13 quality one. That's what I was kind of waiting for. But we can lower this by one, and the, certainly the jump from central firing to improved director is going to mean our our shells will will land a lot more often, meaning it's not even as important. Oh yeah, that's true though. We were considering getting rid of all these guns. In fact, I would be willing to add one here and drop this down accordingly. Why don't we just go all the way down to nothing? What is it going to cost? Okay, I'm okay with that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Director firing on the 6-inch gun should help them hit the destroyers as well. I'm pretty okay with everything about this. Let's save this design. Oh. Oh, we could put them into turrets, maybe. Is that allowed? <clears throat> single mounts. I'm sorry, only in single mounts. But we don't have that anyways. Okay, let's just wait for the new technology coming. Jeez, man, why is there so much against Russia? I don't want to fight Russia. Hmm, don't fret about it. We don't know? I like this one. Send a note suggesting they reduce their stance in the interest of peace and stability. They will put some of their large ships in reserve after concluding their fleet exercises. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and their next thing is to send us an ultimatum. I'm not sure if that is really a sequitur event chain, but that's fine. 
Uh, budget intention, we'll go to war with them. Or budget major prestige loss. Okay, I'm not willing to take that. Here we go to war again. Russians, you've done it. We're at war with you again. That's fine. Coastal raid, I'll decline. Convoy attack. Oh, they only have an AMC in the area. Let's accept. Yes, good. That was a very successful ploy. Uh, we're doing okay on foreign tonnage. Let's see how okay we're doing, because I, I probably should move some more to Northeast Asia. Um, they don't have... It doesn't look like the Russians have anything. Where is the Russian fleet? I guess it's all here. I mean, I don't see any Russian ships anywhere. Yeah, I guess the entire Russian Navy is here. Okay, well, that's one, that's a nice advantage for us, but what I want to do is immediately get all these guys who are now obsolete, damn it. I should have retrofitted them, but I wasn't sure. I waited too long, it's fine. We'll get the Thetises out of um, Northern Europe. We're going to send all these guys over to... First of all, I want to set them to raid. They're all going to raid, yes. And we're going to send them all over to Asia. They will be my raiders. Send them over to Southeast Asia. When we get there, we'll send probably two of them up to Northeast Asia as well. But for the time being, I think that's okay. And then Hamburg. We want at least one, probably two of our Hamburgs to raid in Northern Europe right here. Good. Okay. Ah, yes, that's what I was missing. I knew I was missing something. Well, we have plenty of minesweepers. We probably need to send, uh, let's send three, four, let's get six over to Asia. These things are expendable. And then uh, we need probably two to all the other places, two to the West Africa, two to the Indian Ocean. And last but not least, we'll save four and then put the rest on Coastal Patrol. So that's 18, we need 15. That worked out really well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we can go. Ugh. Inclined armor, good. Okay. Huh. For some reason, we didn't sink any ships. I'm going to decline a coastal raid. Convoy defense. This looks useful. Let's accept this. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't want to fight cruiser actions, but it could be our battle cruisers. They decline this as well. They are, de and we're blockading them. Okay, well, we're not going to blockade them for long because I'm going to move my battleships out of here. It looks like they have three dreadnoughts and two battle cruisers. So let's go ahead and move our old battleships out. Let's move these over to Southeast Asia as well. They don't need an escort. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm not sure they'll be fine, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. The Hamburg classes are still working up. Oh, okay. This is the Bremen. Ah. Uh, Good. Check status, make sure that nobody's getting that star on them. Nope. I think all the places we have under our base limit. Oh, West Africa. But I think we're building in West Africa. Huh, no, base capacity is 10. <clears throat> I guess we'll improve this base. We don't need to save that money anyway. In fact, uh, we have a lot of money. Training? Maybe we should focus on torpedo warfare. <laughs> I'm not sure what it means, but let's do it anyway. So that'll take 12 months for it to go into effect, but that's fine. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to switch your crew training while you're at combat. Does it eliminate your old crew training bonus? I'm assuming it does not, but it might. Ah, oh, what? Oh, man. Really unlucky. Hmm. Well, if it's a battle cruiser, we're in real trouble. Let's decline. 
Okay, we can't. <laughs> Here we go. Can't decline this one. Wow. We're very spread out. All right, well, let's take a look at what we got here. We have two groups, our scout force in the south. Why is our scout force in the south? Behind our main battle line? Very interesting. Now, our battle cruisers are far, far, far superior. Amazingly big difference superior <laughs> to our other ones. These are quality one, I think, 14 inch guns. At least they're quality zero. And our 13-inch guys, although they do, I didn't get improved director on them. These guys have director firing, though. Yeah, they're just so much better in every way. They also have, I think, one layer of torpedo protection. Maybe even two, I don't remember. So the main idea here is get our battle cruisers into the action as soon as possible. Um, because this is an unexpected battle, I have no idea who's going to spot the enemy. So we'll just start doing all the things that I like to do. Getting uh, people into line ahead. <clears throat> I might leave these guys on the scout line for a second, just because I am interested in finding out where the enemy is. But everyone else, I'm going to try to get into line of breast. I mean, sorry, uh, line ahead. Okay, and everyone should go squad max, which is a pretty sizable number, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 25 for my battle cruisers. Okay, so let's take a note of where the wind is. Strong breeze out of the north-northwest, so we'll want to stay on the south side of them. And that should be pretty doable. It looks like, based on the alignment of our ships, that we should be running into them coming from the south, which would be very helpful. Now, the fact that we start with uh, this already like uh, enabling us to control means that it's possible we won't just run into them. So I guess we'll have to do some turning. Uh, strength in numbers here. Let's go squad max with these guys. And let's just get everyone to kind of converge. We are strongest when we are united. <clears throat> Gosh, I've been uh, just trying to come back from a bit of a cold. <clears throat> so it's affecting my ability to speak a little bit. Okay, well we're practically together now. And no, no enemies yet. Again, it's awesome that we're going to be able to meet up our fleets before anything happens. Still, just unfortunate that we need you guys to scout ahead more. Why don't you guys go this way? Most expendable unit, definitely my destroyers in this group. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so... Um, only a speed of 21, huh? Okay, well, let's start slowing everyone down. I'm not even... I was just about to say, I'm not even sure I'm going to find them. Wow, perfect. Okay, so, let's just take a moment to talk about the situation here. Our ships are perfect in the wind position. If we head at them or almost any angle, it'll be to our advantage. Now, I just moved my destroyers closer to them, so that's also perfect. Let's get our battle cruisers to run north. These guys are also, is it, so sight range is a little bit narrower than, okay, well, we can deal with this in an easy way. Let's get these guys into support, line ahead formation. That's going to cause this guy to steam away very quickly, so let's get them almost to double back. This guy's also going to double back. We know where their fleet is, so let's just kind of leave, actually, let's leave these guys out as a scouting fleet, but let's get this lone Niobe. Oh, the Niobe. You've been sunk before, haven't you? Anyways, let's get the Niobe back. Um, so let's pull the Leap Seed back just into formation. Get these guys to head north. 
and we'll figure out what kind of formation we're going to take, but our battle cruisers and our battleships, our dreadnoughts, are in pretty good um, formation here. They're very close to each other, they're going to be able to cover, start getting everyone into the line ahead formation, but I think I'll leave this one cruiser group actually um, south of my force just to prevent any surprise any surprises from the south. That happened to us against the Jap Japanese, and even though it didn't turn out poor for us, it worked to our advantage in the end, it's not ideal. So, But basically, full steam ahead, uh, right towards the enemy fleet. Let's try to engage their heavy ships before they are also able to pull into a nice battle formation. Go destroyers to do that, and you guys like this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, they're turning that way, which means that we should preemptively kind of cut them off. Although we will be coming back to left. They might try to uh, turn right or turn, you know, south, head south towards us, which will be perfect. They'll run right into our uh, battle cruiser, battle dreadnought, whatever line. So we'll have our destroyers keep bringing up the rear. These guys south. Good. Everything's fine. Yep, they're turning in. That's, that's what I wanted. So the Leps, Leipzig and uh, Leipzig, I guess, probably how you pronounce it. Oh no, even worse weather's coming. Well, that's not good because that means nighttime is coming after that. I didn't pay attention to the timing, time the battle was starting, which just from reading forum com comments, people are talking about how visibility is so important for winning your engagements, and, and you know I have to agree. <laughs> so we're gonna have to keep these guys in a nice scouting position now. It's gonna be more important. We know more or less what the enemy is going to do, however. Okay, you guys went to AI, that's fine. You'll just come back towards me. You're almost, probably almost back in range. Um, let's get these guys to turn north again. We don't have vision, that's not good. I don't want anybody going squad max right now. Uh, I don't want anybody going cruise for sure, but I don't want anybody going squad max so that formations stay tight. Like this is a good example. Let's slow you down to 25. You're just going to protect the flank. We have two cruiser groups that are going to be able to protect the line on their side. Let's even slow my dreadnoughts down to let my battle cruisers catch up a little bit more. This is good. I like this formation. Our dreadnoughts pretty well protected. Very poor vision, but. We will see them before they are able to hit our dreadnoughts. The place they can only sneak in is like right here, but my light cruisers are moving, are moving to cover that as we speak. So good, very good. Really good formation, I really like this. And because we're in line ahead, oh wow, it started raining, so we probably have even worse visibility now. Um, but because we're so tight and we're in line ahead, if they just suddenly appear, we'll be having ships get uh, an entire Congo line of ships is going to open up. You're getting a little close. And I think we should have encountered them by now. This is strange. Keep going. Battlecruisers are sneaking out a little too much. Let's lower this true destroyer speed by a little. Oh my gosh, it's going to be pitch dark soon. Well, <sighs> this is not what you want. In fact, we might just steam home. I think we'll just steam home at this point. Let's go 20 and let's just head for Danzig. That's fine. Perfectly acceptable. Yeah, let everyone just go into formation. This is a little too bad. <laughs> Now, this is probably the right time for us to get somebody to be screening um, in screen mode. Let's And then put them back to AI. Because we do want the Weissenberg uh, to actually have a screen. <laughs> the Battlecruiser is probably okay because they're to the north of us. But let's get that because that should make the Leipzig to move in front of us. Or not, but that was the idea. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it stopped raining, I guess? What's our visibility now? Terrible, I assume, right? Yeah, it is dreadful. 
Okay, good. Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to fight this one, but I'm not going to risk all my ships, even though we should have superior torpedo technology. I'm not going to risk all my ships. And just because, uh, you know, don't want to over-occupy one port or the other, we'll send one to one and one to the other. Oh, what the heck? Oh, they're over there, or something. Look at I don't have time to care. Unfortunately. <laughs> we're not going to... It's just no way we're going to go all the way back out there. Let's say no. <clears throat> so I guess we can't go any faster than fast because they're sinking my ship over there. Whatever. They will be avenged. They will be avenged. Oh, they're, they're done sinking it. That's nice. If something happens now, I'll be very upset at myself for being so silly about not keeping my fleets together. Something like that. It's fine. Oh my gosh. Of course. <laughs> How to lose an engagement by Tortuga Power. Well, um, that's a big surprise. I, I mean, we only had 150 minutes left. It looks big enough that this is going to be bad. Now, we do have two torpedo tubes, so going 25, which we won't get up to that speed anyway, we're going to definitely... Actually, we're going to turn south. South to get in the wind advantage. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened, though. Squad max everyone, and head south. So you're going to turn as sharp as you can. You need to go squad max and come in and support as soon as possible. Same with all your ships. Gosh, so stupid. Support, line ahead, fine. Squad max. Support, line ahead, very good. Okay. All right, well, let's see how this goes. They open fire. I think that's a good sign that you can open fire back at them. And the really good news here is, I mean, bad news, torpedoes, good news, uh, I don't remember, oh, that they tilted north, so we're, they're going to give us, oh my gosh, how come my Vonderton is not firing? Vonderton! Now would be an excellent time for you to do something. Wait, we have five inch guns on the, these guys? Is that, is that really what I did? Did I actually put 5-inch guns on the secondaries? Yeah, I did. Well, that's fine. It's a battlecruiser anyway. Um, heavy torpedo avoidance measures, please. And on top of that, I'm going to set both of my guys to launch torpedoes quickly. Where are my destroyers? That are the destroyers! Alright, here we go. Here's the big... Uh, that, the, the Lutzau is not, <laughs> is not in a good position. Tilt back. Here we go. I mean, we're pummeling them with 14-inch guns. That's fantastic. And here comes the destroyers. They're not too far behind. Oh, wow, we hit them! Oh, my gosh, three! Oh, that's so beautiful! Oh, my gosh, I'm so happy. All right, cool, we have some identifications now. Oh my gosh, where, what's going on here? So, we're up against a Navarin class battlecruiser, 24 knots, extremely low armor. So kiss that guy goodbye, basically. Let's turn as much as we can, try to avoid any kind of collision here. Um, now we're probably taking a few hits with these guys. Yep, but we're not too disappointed. Uh, a turret penetration, but no Death, thank God. I think our turrets aren't that well armored, only 10 an inch. Oh yeah, well, it's destroyed. Holy cow. Well, that's not good. Let's get the light cruisers over here as quickly as possible. All right, well, I guess at this point we just keep, we we've don't have much choice in the matter. We just keep going as we're going. 
excellent job with the torpedoes, though. I'm very glad that we got three hits off on their battle cruiser. Oh my gosh, they're right next to us. Holy cow! Holy cow! We hit more than 11 times with 14-inch guns. Ouch. Yeah, heavy damage. No kidding. Wait. We haven't lost a... Oh, this one lost one of our turrets. Okay. And this one... Oh my gosh, that battle cruiser's has seen better days, that's for sure. Okay, so we have... Which way are you going? Why are you turning this way? Let's head in. Is this a BB or a DD? No, that's a DD, it's too small. Crazy, I am just... This is obviously a very surprising result. <laughs> How did this happen? Okay, they might turn in, so let's kind of preemptively... The battle cruisers, I want to maintain my... I want to maintain my position to the southeast, which gives me the nicest wind advantage. Gosh, I can't believe we just... Oh, wow, we just pummeled the crap out of them. Okay. Unsurprising, unsurprising. Benetton's okay, Bremen's they're both okay. Fine. Was to be expected, really. Oh, this guy has decided to unattach and then reattach so that the G12 is in totally the wrong position. Fair enough. And, you know what, Bremen, I know that you want to slow down, but just get yourself out of here in a reasonable manner. Fonderton's going to do okay, so we'll just keep turning her away. She didn't do quite as much this turn as she did last time, but, I mean, 11 gajillion hits on this Navarin class is probably enough to sink her already. g was avoiding torpedoes. Not a surprise. Everyone's going to be launching torpedoes. It's just pro probably all anybody's doing, although they were using some really old destroyer classes here with only two above water torpedo mounts. It's insane. This one has four submerged, so we know we're getting a torpedo barrage, or two, or three, or four. Okay, so now we have this Kinberg class, which we've already done a lot of heavy damage to. Um, destroyed one of their turrets. They're getting a full broadside off on my, I suppose they're firing at, well, what are they firing at? Navarin's still firing here, that's not good. And why is the Vonderton? Did the Vonderton? I mean, it's the actual Vonderton. So it unattached and reattached, I guess. Everyone is launching torpedoes. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> okay, tilt in hard to avoid that torpedo. Maybe I shouldn't have encouraged flotilla attack. Yeah, that might have been a little too aggressive. So I did the right thing here. I thought this Kinberg class might turn in, and she did. So let's just go ahead and head about south now, squad max, so that we can get, hopefully, better positioning on them. Okay. Otherwise, we just got to ride the waves here. Yeah, this guy's dead for sure, though. And we just put some more 14-inch guns through the hole. Oh, the Weissenberg is actually engaging the Kinberg. That's perfect. It just even better. Her guns are still all trained on my light cruiser, which is good. I hope that light cruisers, I suppose it's because they're a smaller target, they should be a little bit harder to hit. We didn't run into our own torpedoes, which is a miracle. We'll have the light cruisers pull up around the other side and get the destroyers to finish off the Navarin class. And then actually, who is this? Let's get you to make a... Now, let's let the... Oh, I see. So everybody split up because the enemy was so close. We'll have the Bremen turn and just keep the um, enemy destroyers busy. Okay, no, no, no. The Munchen has to go full speed ahead, though, because we have enemy destroyers here. Ah, Lutzau was hit by a torpedo now, too. Well, they've each taken one. I guess that's fair. No doubt this... It's just funny. They have two... Destroyer, they have two torpedo tubes each, and they're still just hitting me constantly with torpedoes. We just got one lucky barrage off, is really all that happened. Okay, let's see who's getting hit. Their um, Kinber class is still hitting me. Well, that's not good. Although it hit the Leipzig and she didn't take any damage. Ah, uh, yeah, so there's this, this destroyer which is hitting the Bremen. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what you're there for, the Bremen. Go, go hunt them down. All right, I'm a little scared. I'm not sure where everyone's supposed to be, but let's just advance on their turn. <laughs> Certainly, 
this destroyer is not going where he should. He's not even detached. He's supposedly moving the direction he wants to move. Okay, let's avoid torpedoes by making a sharp turn. Even if it takes us out of wind advantage, this guy's already taking medium damage, and we got our light cruisers coming up quick. So, yeah, let's definitely just avoid further damage. We've done our job, battle cruisers. Move away. All right, turret disabled. Kinberg class was hit with the 13-inch gun from the Prusin, and then three more hits from the Weissenberg, three more hits from six-inch guns, and another, well, I'm not too worried about this battlecruiser. Keep turning away. We'll have the battlecruiser even come back up and work on the other uh, ship, which is, of the two battlecruisers, the better one. This is obviously, <laughs> this one's going to sink. Armor's so low. I mean, just uh, uh, only 20,000 tons. This one's probably 30, yeah, 36,000, so... We already destroyed two of her turrets, though. Goodness gracious. She only has one turret active. <laughs> so, we know that a main threat at this point is going to be torpedoes. Hopefully torpedoes that we fire will be more effective than theirs, although historically not the case. Oh my gosh. What the heck is going on here? Oh, I, I didn't mean for two turns to be advanced there, but that's fine. We got a little bit lucky, I think. Not to have something terrible happen to us. Ignoring that destroyer, let's just pull back around. The Munchen can do that one. Kimba, this one's heavy damage. Now would be a good time. I am letting you launch torpedoes, Leipzig. You know, revenge and all that. Okay. I'll keep turning, though. What is this guy even doing? He's going to be hit by my own torpedo. But most of the hits now are all just on their battle cruisers. The Kinbird is probably going down. Everything but one turret disabled. Navarin class just pff, heavy damage on fire. Not going to be much use to anybody. Let's get this battle cruisers to keep turning around though. We don't want to want to minimize our casualties here. Oh my gosh, Bremen! There's a Russian destroyer right next to you. Please fire at that. I don't know where you guys are even going. Oops. Three or four torpedoes available. Yeah, Munchen. No, don't fire. Just focus on this destroyer. I turned off flotilla attack, right? Yeah. So flotilla attack is still on for these guys, which is acceptable, I think. Because they're going to fire torpedoes right down into my battle cruisers, which is ideal. <laughs> yeah. Is anybody launching torpedoes? I don't see any torpedoes being launched. Just limiting flooding, that's fantastic. This is good. You should just keep turning with him. You might get hit by another torpedo, but um, basically just do as much damage as you can. Oh, we are actually hitting with the... That's good. Good, I see in more hits uh, on things that I want to be hit. Very good. You, I don't even know what you're doing, but okay. Turn you back. Our just dreadnoughts are getting out with almost no damage at all, and that's fantastic. Where do we want to move? We can go back and finish off the Kinberg, I think. Um, I'm just surprised these guys didn't launch torpedoes. Launch torpedoes? I'm kind of loud, man. You're only going 19 knots. <laughs> Should be like nothing stopping you. And you still have torpedoes? Yeah, two. But not many. Why don't you go take out the Navarin class? Let's get you to focus on the Navarin class. There. You guys head off towards that destroyer. Just to. Oh, no, no. We need you guys to keep doing work on this destroyer. Without killing the Bremen, of course. And yeah, we do have a bit of a problem here. We want you to turn in, you to turn out. There is another destroyer over there. Let's just watch. See what happens. Bremen? Where's the Bremen? Okay, the Bremen is taking some damage here, so... Let's get her out of here. Let's detach her, basically. Effectively detach her. Now, if you guys wanted, you could absolutely launch torpedoes at their... Well, I guess they have the S-14 coming down to do that, too. <clears throat> okay, well, fair enough. I don't even know what to force these guys to do. They're on AI control, but um, in my opinion, they're 
probably best off doing exactly what they're doing, just moving around. Munchin doesn't find the enemy destroyer. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be a hit. Oh, it went right through it! For the love of God, how does that miss? Well, let's get the loots out to finish her off then. Okay, pretty scary. Um, let's stop the flotilla attack. Torpedoes going everywhere. Yeah, let's make your speed pretty slow, battlecruisers, so that we don't encourage flooding. Get this guy out of here if we can, but where's my, um, yeah, these guys. These guys are the ones that should be taking care of those destroyers. Aha, finally the Kimberly's hit. Good. That should do her. She's sinking. Okay, so quickly, just pull um, all our dreadnoughts away. I don't care about finishing off the small fry. It's just too risky for us to try to go back in. I would like to sink all their destroyers and whatnots, but we've done so much damage, let's not risk it. A good engagement, though. Fantastic. Oh, okay, Navern. Ha ha ha. That's fantastic. We got one more in her. We know what's going on. Basically, they're all sinking, and we're going to get away scot-free. Not a single ship downed. So... In the love of God, are you guys doing? Let's go support. Yeah, do, do that support business. Do you see how support is not what you're doing right now? Hmm. We'll even go back over to this port. I don't care. Basically, as soon as we're out of sight, enemy ship on a dynamite ship is hit by a torpedo. Well, okay, fine. We'll take it. It's probably the Leipzig launching torpedoes and stuff like that. Getting lucky. Okay, good. I think they're they're coming back in. Yes, we want to detach the Bremen. And I want the Bremen to go very slow. In fact, to <clears throat> encourage that, we'll actually come back. Whoops, not you. I don't care about you. Where's the battlecruisers? Oh, that is, that is the battlecruisers. So 14, let's go down to 12. Send you guys. I know you weren't hit, but let's send you down to 15. Do something like this. Leipzig is laying smoke. That's perfectly fine. Oh, so they still are in the area. I just want to do this to kind of cover the Bremen, since she's the most damaged ship besides this S-14. Get the much in the toe in here. But you're doing the right thing. We're just making sure that they don't... Don't want any... Uh... Okay, let's do something like this. Narrowly missed each other in the middle of the night. Running into each other would have been bad. The Bremen's caught up, so let's... Just, uh, okay, just go 10... Set everybody to 10. I'm okay with that. And down to 10. If we all head in the same direction now, we shouldn't have any AI control stuff going on. Okay, Munchin, come in. You just went AI, that's fine. I don't even know what you're doing. Where were you, Niobe? <laughs> I didn't want to be sunk again, sir. <laughs> yeah, well, fine. Get a move on. <coughs> The Bremen reattached the Munchen, so I'm going to... Oh, can't take the control of the Munchen quite yet. Still not. Still not. There. Get you to go very slow. Uh, we'll get you to go 11, just to make sure you don't get, go to AI control again. Alright, good. So, wish mission should come to an end very soon now. We're limiting flooding. Uh, the Bremen's moving slow, so she shouldn't have any more problems. How is she doing, by the way? She doesn't have flooding currently. We don't want any bulkhead rupturing stuff going on, which is why we're moving nice and slow. Alright, well, that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.